In this video, we'll complete our study of nomenclature by practicing writing formulas for covalent molecules. Now, how would you recognize um, any of these, for example, as covalent? Well, remember, a covalent bond is between two nonmetals. An ionic bond is between a metal and a nonmetal. So if you see a metal, you know right away you're dealing with an ionic compound. And since there are no metals here, you know you're dealing with covalent bonds. So carbon tetrabromide. We have one carbon and four bromines. So C Br4. Diboron, that's two borons, hexahydride, that's six hydrogen. So B2H6. Now, if you're not sure what di and penta and deca mean, you should pause the video now um, and relearn those prefixes. So here we go. Diphosphorus pentasulfide. Well, that means you have two phosphorus and five sulfide. Disulfur decafluoride. Well, that's two sulfur and ten fluoride. 